My name is Andrew Hardgrove. I'm an account manager at The Hoth and we're in St. Petersburg, Florida. I uh, basically help my clients with their clients. I am a liaison to help them um, pick out the correct products, answer any product knowledge questions, try to guide them on keywords, um, basically anything that they would need for their clients to grow that relationship, I kind of handle for them. I was previously in fire protection and I decided that I didn't want to stay in Ohio and do fire protection forever because that's like super boring. So I reached out uh, to my brother and he had a sales position open and that's pretty much what I previously did for the fire protection company. Completely different industry but if you know, if you know sales as long as you learn the product you're alright. Um, so came down here, it worked out, interviewed with George and uh, here I am today working with the Hoth. Uh, my Basset Hounds, honestly like. They, uh, they're pretty hilarious. We, we call them Dumb and Dumber because they're very stubborn and I don't know if you've ever met a Basset Hound, but they're like the cutest little things, but they don't listen at all. Um, I love my Mustang. It's a GT350, a, a 2016 Shelby. Um, it's got 526 horsepower, flat plane crank V8. I have not done anything to it. I'll probably keep it stock because I don't want to blow it up uh, because then that's going to be more expensive and at that point I probably won't be married uh, much longer after that because uh, you know the wife wouldn't be too happy. As a car enthusiast though, a Tesla's not a real car. It's, it's, a, it's like a, a, a Prius, you know what I mean? It's a, it's, a, it's a fast Prius. So It's the fastest car in the world. It, it's the fastest Prius in the world, yeah. It's five times faster than a Lamborghini Aventador. <laughs> Zero to like 100, sure, but after like 120, like, you know, the Aventador is just going to kick its ass. Um, but they are they are sweet cars, there's no doubt about it. They are super fast. They they roll freaking people in the quarter mile. So I want those I want those shingles on my house that are solar powered, you know? Oh, those things are sick. Those are legit, you know? Um, I wouldn't mind doing the Elon Musk thing up to the, the outer space and, and all that, but uh, Tesla's where I draw the line. It's a, it's a fine line. Like, that's dead, you know? It's... Yeah. It's not American, you know. No. I, I came over from, my family came over from Germany to be Americans, and a Tesla is just, it's a millennial thing. Yeah. Uh, so. No, no, it's not, not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> So I got married at a hockey game. That's how much uh, of a hockey fan I am. Big Columbus Blue Jackets fan. Uh, so that's loyalty right there, if you know anything about hockey. Um, I have since got a half a season to the Lightning. Uh, they're a lot of fun to watch. They're a lot better than the Blue Jackets. Um, but yeah, I, I try to go to at least 20 games a year. Just a big hockey fan. Play, play recreational hockey. Uh, you can't tell because I drink a lot of beer during hockey. Um, so yeah. Now I'm on a kickball team. I suck at that. I fall down. I don't fall down in hockey. You're on ice. I can't explain that. My dad was born in Atlanta when my grandma came over from Germany during World War II. That's kind of where she like landed or whatever. I still have family in Atlanta and just grew up an Atlanta sports fan. I'm not a LeBron fan though. Why? He left Cleveland, man. How do you do that? How do you do someone back. dirty like that? I don't give a shit. That's like me like... Yeah, you're gonna hold a grudge? Oh, I'm a, I'm a big LeBron grudge holder. Absolutely, man. That guy, no. No LeBron over here. I mean, come on, you, you, you can't be like, oh, I, I won two national, or, uh, two NBA titles, so I, I guess I'll give one to Cleveland. Like, he won the first championship in Cleveland. Yeah, but he promised to do that, like, from the get. Like, you spent 10 years in Cleveland, or seven years, however long you did, and you couldn't do shit. You had to go down to, like, get Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, and then go do it all down there, and be like, oh, guys, I know what I'm doing now. I learned from other people. I'm gonna come back to Cleveland, and then, get you a championship, but I'm only gonna get you one because I don't even know how to be beat the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you wasted all, like you wasted your prime on doing Florida and then did us dirty. You know what I mean? I feel like that's why we got Urban Meyer because LeBron dicked us. So Florida was like, we'll give you Urban Meyer so the Buckeyes can win, you know, the national championship. I'm so glad that we got that trade off because I would much rather win a national championship in Ohio State football than LeBron and his stupid Cleveland title. I always tell people this, Ohio is a great place to grow up and even better place to, le to leave. It's like you learn like the nice Midwestern like culture, how to be, you know, nice to people. And then it's like, you get the hell out of there. I wrap up my, what do I got? Like a time limit here? Is this like the Emmys where I got a fucking light that's going to come on and tell me I got to be done?